Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall see question from December 2014 consisting of 3 marks. The question is, let y be continuously differentiable function defined from the closed interval 0 to infinity open at infinity to the uh, real number, set of real numbers r and it satisfies this integral equation. Then they are saying y is which among these four that means y satisfies which among these four right so this is pretty simple question let us have a look at its solution there are multiple ways to solve this question you can uh, convert because uh, it is in this form x minus s therefore we can convert uh, this into the convolution type kernel and then solve it using laplace equation or what we can do, a more easier method is, you just convert this given integral equation into the corresponding ordinary differential equation, right? And uh, then we can uh, again convert these options as well into the differential equations and then we can see which options matches with the given integral equation. So this would be our strategy. So let us get started. First of all, let us uh, differentiate the given integral equation. So the, uh, with respect to the variable x, so this y of x becomes y dash of x, right? This x cube by 6 becomes x square by 2, right? Because the derivative of x cube is 3x square. And here what we do, we apply the Leibniz rule of uh, differentiation under the integral sign. What is the, uh, that does? That is taking the complete derivative d dx of if the integral is given from ax to bx whatever are the limits and this is some function in between then it would simply be the integration and will take the partial derivative with respect to x and the fun of the function as it is that means we will treat all the terms containing t as constants plus the uh, derivative of this upper limit with respect to x and multiply that with this whole thing where we replace this t with the upper limit right and minus the same thing doing the, this with the lower limit that is minus the derivative of lower limit into the multiplication with the function where t is replaced with the lower limit so here it would be integration the derivative of this whole term with respect to x that would simply be y s t s because s would be treated as constant and minus as such then the derivative of x with respect to x that would be 1 into that whole term where s is now being replaced with s this s would be replaced with x so it would be x minus x y of x and the derivative of the 0 with respect to x that would be 0 so whole term would be 0 so simplifying this we have this we can again differentiate this to eliminate this this term containing the integral right so it becomes y double dash x the derivative of this term simply gives x and what would be that here we will again apply this Leibniz rule so it would be minus integration from 0 to x the derivative of this term partially with respect to x because there is no x so this term would be 0 and minus as such then the derivative of upper limit would be 1 and y of x plus 0 so we can simplify this so our equation uh, in uh, representing in the form of differential equation is this y double dash x plus y of x is equal to x now let us look at our options the first option is y of x is equal to 1 by 6 integration from 0 to x s cube sin x minus s ts so we'll differentiate it again using the same method so it would be this and uh, here we would have sin x minus x so this would be sin of 0 sin of 0 is 0 so this term is 0 this term is also 0 so we are only left with this term and then uh, we can again differentiate it we'll obtain this term right so uh, and uh, why this is so because you see this thing is equivalent to y of x because it is given in our option right so we have this but obviously you see this this equation 
and this equation they does not match therefore this option is not the correct option we can rule out this option so let us similar in a similar way we can check for other options let us see for the second option so differentiating the derivative of cos would be minus sign so likewise that uh, first derivative is this and the second derivative is this so here also this term does not match with that one because in the right hand side here we have x cube by 6 and there we had x so this is also not the correct option let us see third option in third option when you differentiate it you will get something like this right when you again differentiate it you will get the same form as in of the equation integral equation so this is the correct option right so option d again you will see we have something of this form which is also not correct therefore this is not a correct option so only the correct option do we have what what we have in this is option c right so the correct option is option c i hope you understood this question this is this was a pretty simple question so thanks for watching